welcome to Hanky Panky. Uh, on uh, our last episode, I started to show you different kinds of hankies that a friend got me um, at an estate sale, and I thought today I might show you a couple of different other varieties before we get into things like cleaning and pressing. Um, this one here is a really beautiful hanky. Uh, a lot of these hankies, uh, you know, women carry hankies everywhere. And I just think it's amazing just how beautiful some of these hankies are. Now these hankies, these hankies themselves, these are from the early 60s. Um, there's quite a variety of floral hankies. And these are hankies that I find to be, um, these are more highly collectible than the crocheted or the tatted hankies. Just because of the sheer amount of variety that you can get. Some of these hankies um, have unique little features, like this one here. Um, we're going to zoom in on this one because I'd like to show you something here. Now, not only does this have a beautiful purple rose, but when it's folded, as you can see, it makes a heart design in the corner. Very pretty floral scalloped hanky. See the little scalloped edge that, that's around here. Very, very pretty. Now here's a design that I am very fond of and a lot of the people who buy my hankies are fond of this too. This is, um, these are violets and violets like Lily of the Valley are highly sought after hankies. Um, this one I just think is quite beautiful. Um, each corner features this beautiful white basket with, um, with a, uh, the violet bouquet very pretty gray hanky. This is a very large hanky. This is what's considered cocktail size. Very, very large. There is another hanky with, uh, with a, a tag on. Um, when the hanky is in good condition and it is not stained, I do try to leave the tag on if at all possible. Um, if we can zoom in on this, this is a Burmeal original and they make a lot of very very beautiful hankies. This one has poppies. Very very pretty. Um, another very popular kind of hanky is a monogrammed hanky. There is a uh, we did show you one in the last episode with a man's name on this one here is women's uh, Majory. And um, you don't see the names as much as you do um, single uh, letters that are embroidered onto them, but this one is very pretty. A little bit, this does not appear to ever been used. I can still see the residue of the label on, uh, on the hanky itself. That'll take a little bit of work to get out, but we'll show you how to do that. Here's a couple of other different kinds of embroidered initials. There's a pretty A there. Some of them are very very fine embroidery. There's a B and um, if you can zoom in there a little bit you can just see the fine embroidery that's on that. This is an older hanky. You can tell by the kind of edge that's on the hanky. I'm not sure if you can pick that up. I'll take a, a very cl close-up photo so you can see that this is a hand-rolled edge. Um, these are my favorite kind of hankies. There's just uh, It comes from a day when um, all of these hankies used to be made by hand. They were hand-rolled. A lot of them were hand-rolled in the Philippines. So very, very, very pretty. That one is a, that's a very fine linen, and that's in a pretty mint green. We have another large cocktail hanky. This is by uh, Kimball, and another very pretty hanky. Uh, it, it's a yellow hanky. Very pretty, a, a gray rose on it. We have a Another example of violets here. Actually, this takes two of the most popular flowers, the violets and the lily of the valleys. These, this one was hand embroidered in Swiss, Switzerland. And just a very, very pretty purple hanky. 
This uh, probably would have came in a set. You can see where the original folds are um, with a multiple uh, multiple different hankies as a gift set, but very, very pretty. Uh, here is another example of a, uh, an older hanky. And there's with a label on here. I'm not sure if we can pick this up, but this uh, was your kerchief. Well, we're going to have to take that out. Your kerchief of the moment from Harper's Bazaar. Some of these um, different magazines, I know Vogue did it, Harper's Bazaar did it. They would feature a hanky of the month. And um, so this is one with the original label on, still from Harper's Bazaar. Very, very pretty hanky. Um, one of the uh, cool things about some of these hankies were how they were packaged. See, there's some more residue on here, but look at the fold in here. This is how it was bought, and this is another one that was made in the Philippines. But we see this, just a unique way of folding it, just, uh, just for presentation. Because remember, a lot of these hankies were bought in five and dimes, and in... Uh, corner drugstores. It was um, just an inexpensive gift that you could give to someone. Um, or, you know, I have talked to women that, you know, they would go on vacation and the highlight of their vacation was to buy a hanky. There's another beautiful hanky. This is unused. Another one with some residue on it. But look at that. Beautiful gladiolas with a shaped edge. The ch shaped edge on that. Just absolutely beautiful. Look at the colors in that. Like a cabbage roses. Very sheer hanky. Very beautiful. There's also some hankies that um, I tend to be attracted to. Uh, these hankies with appliques. Look at that one. That one has a, a really pretty blue butterfly and some pink flowers on the edges. That is another hand rolled hanky, but look at that, how that is. It's been embroidered, but with the wings that are not attached, they're just appliqued to the hanky. Look at this. Another one where the flowers themselves are just attached, so it just gives like a three dimension to it. Just absolutely beautiful. Older hanky with the hand rolled edge. Another very popular thing for weddings now are to do hankies. Um, you give them to your bridesmaids, you give them to the, you know, the mother of the bride. Um, when I got married, I carried my grandmother's hanky um, as something blue. It was an old blue tatted hanky, but um, there's these lace edged embroidered hankies, which are very popular um, for weddings. Just very, very pretty. Now here is something that uh, I've always found unique. This is a nylon hanky, and the label is still on this hanky. And uh, it says, wash and shake, dries in seconds, fresh as a daisy, no need to iron. But I don't really know how practical that would be as a hanky. <laughs> so I think, you know, some of these were just absolutely carried just so a woman can carry something pretty with her outfit because that's not something practical that you can use. And now here are a couple of, um, I just think, nice examples of souvenir hankies. These are both from Alaska. And these have the edge on, like I spoke yesterday. They're made to an edge that can be crocheted or tatted. But, um, you know, this will not, this, a hanky like this with the, the husky on will not only appeal to someone who's collecting something from Alaska, but to someone who has, uh, who likes dogs like this. There's one with a totem pole on. Very nice examples of a souvenir hanky. Now, yesterday when I was showing you some of the uh, crocheted hankies and tatted hankies, um, look at the detail in this. These were also something very popular to do. These are hankies that were, um, they would take one corner and they would cut it away. And that would be where the lady's dress would be made. And this one actually has a very 
um, thick lace edge then with the additional crochet around the lace. So that took someone a lot of time to do. Very, very pretty. Um, these are also a kind of hanky. We can zoom in on that a little bit. Um, I really love when they when they use make they make pansies out of the edges of these hankies. I love when they do them in this deep purple color. I just think that's so attractive. Look at the work that went into that. Now they're not as commonplace as I was mentioning yesterday as the uh, uh, as the hankies that we've um, that we've seen with just a plain with plain edging on. That's an Irish linen hanky. Well, I'd like to thank you for taking a look at all these hankies with me again. Um, I enjoy showing them to you. And thanks for joining me today. If you like anything that you've seen today, you may be able to find them for sale on my uh, the link to my eBay page, which you can see below. But more importantly, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you.